Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. Woo! All right, man, I held on to this video just to see was uh Mr. Uh, for, the boxer formerly known as Man Down, the boxer formerly known as uh Free Smoke, and also known as uh 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 the Big Fish now was gonna show up to the fight last night and he didn't so you know go ahead and drop that drop that make it hot player in my granddad voice but thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notifications increase the chance of notifications we go live or drop a video and the big guppy aka the fish sticks you know aka the big cat fish aka the big cat fish you know you know fled dallas for two weeks he fled Dallas for two weeks. He didn't want no controversy, uh, no 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 conversation or no controversy with Terrence Crawford. Crawford pulled down in Dallas, pulled up on Spence fanboys and shit, pulled up on Blair Cobb, you know. Um, and Errol Spence was nowhere to be found. Apparently, he fled. He fled to Phoenix. Remember, uh, Ivan Redcast said Lomachenko had fled when the war started. They asked him to fight for their country. He fled to Greece. And once Ivan Redcast put him out there, he came back from Greece. The big guppy fled Dallas. Imagine if Earl Spence came to Omaha for two weeks. You know Crawford been there uh, for the UFC event. I think uh, Amanda, uh, what's old? I didn't forget old girl name. And a girl that, that you know, Christian Shields wanted, uh, wanted to fight. She lost and she regained her title. Um, her her face in my head. He was there at that event with Mike Tyson and, and, and company. Then, I guess he hung around unless he came he, he came back. But then he hung around for Maurice Hooker who fight, uh, you know, out his gym and stuff. And Earl Spence was nowhere to be found. Wasn't no... Send the con, sign the contract. It wasn't no trolling on the internet. It wasn't no 80, 20, 60, 40. It wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? And he continued his line of David Copperfield tricks. <clears throat> One of his, you know, first trick was to call out Terrence Crawford, say, you know, Bob won't give it to me. He on the wrong side of the street. Bob Aaron responded, said, we can make it in five minutes. Then it turned in, I got to get all the belts. I got to go to the easy route. I'm gonna knock out Sean Porter. When I fight, you know, easy fight first, struggle with Sean Porter. Some people thought Sean Porter won. Or it should have been a draw. I thought Earl edged it. But then the one that took the cake was that nigga ran out the arena when he stopped Sean Porter and Derek Jane. You won. You won. You won. I told Earl Spin, yeah, yeah. You know? like to stop and hit daddy stop the fight. Yo. Now the nigga pull up to your hometown. He pulled up your hometown and you ain't nowhere to be found. You done went to other the zone events. I believe in, in Dallas, in Texas somewhere. You done went to other the zone events. Because he been he been the one running his mouth about the fight. Talk all that ish about Bo Mac. Right? Him and the Charlo twins ran their mouth or Jamil Charlo. Bo all of them ran their mouth about Bud. One of them, no, not one of them, a, a lion, a care bear, a big guppy, a catfish to be found. Come on. This nigga all of a sudden went on fucking vacation, bro. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. They don't want no, what Leonard L.B. said, he said, Oscar New don't want no controversy. He right. Earl Spencer no, don't want no controversy. Nigga in your backyard, you don't, you don't show him that southern Texas hospitality? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That would have been a great way to build up the fight. Because he been the one talking. If I don't happen, it ain't on my side. Sign the contract that don't exist. Retweeting coverage just saying the fight is close multiple times, no hurdles. That shit was like a month ago, the last one. He the one out here retweeting and reposting and regramming and posting on the stories and shit. Then the nigga come to your hometown. 
you know, you welcome here. Life's a little, you know, confrontation. Build the fight minimum. Y'all can't face to face before. Ain't no punches get blown. So, you know, it's all love. He said he was an Earl Spence fan. Man, Terrence Crawford, I'm a fan of Earl Spence. I'm a fan. What Earl Spence doing? They go to Phoenix, Arizona. Surprised that nigga didn't leave the country, go to Mexico or Jamaica or some shit. Like, he can't get me here. He can't get me here. <laughs> the big cup fish is free here. I think. I get my women in the kids here. I save. That nigga ain't want no controversy. He knew the way he pulled up on the last or shit, the way he pulled up on Blair Cobb. I know Blair Cobb had to make weight though, so I feel him. He probably ready to go eat. But the man will pull up. He will pull up and Earl Spence, let's let you know where, where they at with it at. Man, they come to my hometown. We about to make a bunch of money. We about to exchange some pleasures. We won't exchange some pleasures. We about, we gonna fight. You gonna come to my hometown for a fight and I ain't gonna welcome you in. Come on. Come on, you know, you know I gotta, you know I gotta bless you. I told y'all these niggas ain't built like that no more. They ain't, they ain't built like that no more, bro. You heard what Jamel said. Well, you know, it ain't like that no more, Mike, man. We don't, we don't call people out like that no more, Mike. Yeah, it ain't like that no more. Mike was like, damn, man. Oh, I had to do some ignorant shit because you want to just do this coast. Yeah. But <laughs> nice cherry red jet, back so I can jet up and shake it out the damn way. But <laughs> they be having them nice ass car. I want to be old as hell and finally get my first nice car. What's the fucking point? You can't even dog that shit out. That's like you being 50 and finally getting a challenger, 60 getting a challenger, or a Ferrari. What's the fucking point? My motor skills already gone for real, <laughs> but nonetheless, man. Um, yo, they ain't show up. If that was Crawford, he came to Omaha. Niggas be calling Crawford Kunan. They would. Oh, Crawford pussy, man. He ain't show up to the fight. And this down the third. And they say, I'm here now. I got a belt. What's up? You said get a belt. You don't run the street. I go get the easy belt. They come to your hometown. You don't, you don't bless that nigga, man, with your pleasantries. You don't let that nigga feel the pride of that. That nigga ain't no street nigga. He want to run. Earl Smith want to run with street niggas. But he ain't. He, it ain't in him. It ain't in him, bro. He ain't grow up like that, bro. He want to run with Yellow Bees and them niggas. But he ain't. He ain't. That nigga's like the nigga I went to school with. They infatuated with that shit. They infatuated with shit like that. And if, you know, they get caught in that world, they gonna snill. They gonna break every fucking code. There is to the break. They gonna snitch. They gonna point niggas out. He ain't built like that, bro. He don't really, he ain't really know. The little dog he got in on, that come from him being Jamaican. His daddy being Jamaican. He ain't really built like that. He, these niggas ain't really got no pride no more, bro. These women out here got more pride than the dudes, bro. These niggas ain't really prideful no more, dude. They ain't wired like they was wired. Man, imagine, shit, Sugar Ray Leonard coming to Detroit. Man, Tommy Hearns gonna bless him. He gonna make Tommy his schedule to go bless him. Even though that nigga gotta fly back from Phoenix and fly here, he gonna make he gonna make sure he, he gonna show him some fucking Detroit hospitality. And I don't mean, he gonna make sure you feel that nigga. All of a sudden, that nigga probably bug, bug on your nigga. He ain't get, he ain't play. <laughs> All the niggas gonna start popping their head up. Man, I know Dallas really don't claim that nigga, bro. I know y'all don't. Cause I know some I, I went to school with some good niggas in Dallas, bro. Some real solid niggas. That don't mean you gotta be street, but that nigga just ain't solid, bro. Them them niggas ashamed of that nigga, bro. They ashamed as Maurice Hooker getting his ass whooped by Blair Cobb last night. That's how shame they is of that nigga. Imagine Earl did pull up. Hey, what's up, me on this shit? Whoop, 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 whoop. Niggas be beating that shit up. 
But then again, that would raise the expectations for a fight being announced pretty soon. But then again, but them say it's gonna happen. So they say it's gonna happen. But shit, he supposed to, he supposed to make that nigga feel it. That nigga heard Bud was coming vacation, baby. Why are we going on vacation? <laughs> oh, I just feel like getting away. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I gotta get up. I gotta, I gotta. What's that Bobby Brown song? I got to get up. Whatever that shit, that nigga gotta go. That nigga say, gas, gas, gas. Ooh, that nigga gotta hell up my nigga ain't been. Man, Chase got more pride and fucking nuts than the guys do not now, man. Man, come on, man, nigga wouldn't mop, nigga would came here, man. I, I gotta bless you one time. One nothing malicious gonna happen, just like nigga, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What's good, bro? You gonna sign the contract, big fella? What's going on? You wanna know why they ain't in a rush to get this 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 fight done? Cause these niggas ain't even promoting. It. Like a prime the prime opportunity came right there for them to talk some shit. Last time they talked shit, people still uh, uh, circulating when they was talking shit, when they weren't into each other, the Hooker and South Sados fight in Oklahoma City. You know? They, they still start talking about that video. So, imagine that would have been a great great footage that would have been used for all access. Great footage for, for the YouTubers. Great footage for the fans. Great footage for the casual fans. Great footage for the fans that have no interest in the fight. All the way around, it would it would it would have been great promo. And you gotta understand, bro, they not doing nothing to keep this fight hot. We keeping it hot on the internet. Make it hot, player. We keeping it hot. And that's why I stay hot. But nonetheless, man, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live. Or drop a video if an inch you want to support the channel. Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Peace.